I guess I really don't know what Christmas is all about. Isn't there anyone who knows what Christmas is all about? That's not roasting. Jack Frost nipping at your nose. So I'm offering a simple phrase. Although it's been said many times, many ways, Mary. Christmas to you. That's not roasting. Black frost nipping at your nose. So I'm offering a simple phrase. Although it's been said many times, many ways, Merry Christmas to you. Many times, many ways, Merry Christmas. That's what Christmas is all about. Hello, welcome everyone. Uh, yeah, I hope you like that slightly longer intro. I uh, thought I'd just have a bit of a play, a bit of fun, um, as it is Christmas after all. Um, right, I'm going to introduce some guests. I've got uh, an extra face tonight, which is great. So let me go through everyone. So we've got Mark's Moths. Good evening, everybody. Um, welcome to Harlix's Live tonight. Uh, issue 89, it's a bit of a tricky one, but should be fun. Yeah, lovely. Thank you. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it, although very nervous as well, because uh, this floor is not ideal for finding small parts <laughs> if anything should fling. Yes. <laughs> uh, we've got uh, Dave uh, from DS Models and Vintage. Hello and Merry Christmas to everybody. And uh, God blame me, beat that intro. That was fabulous, yeah. Um, if anybody can make an intro, it's Horlix. Horlix can make a superb, um, absolutely brilliant uh, intro. Well done. That was fan fabulous. 
Thank you. Yeah, I literally, it was something not together in half hour because I got home and I was like, I know what I'm going to do. But I did have a bit of an issue because it was one of the one of the tracks I wanted to use. It came from the no copyright sounds thing. But then it wasn't until after I had to put the link in into the description. Yeah. Um, I realised it said, you can use this, but please get permission from. And then I had to, yeah. I'm like, well, I can't use that because I ain't got time. So yeah. I had to quickly change it a few minutes before the stream. So, <laughs> um, so I, yeah. I, I gather chestnuts roasted, roasting on an open fire was okay then. Yeah, yeah, that's from No Copyright yeah. Sounds. I think it's because it wasn't the whole thing and they yeah. had some all sorts of effects in it. Just yeah. a sound bite, yeah. Yeah, brilliant. So, yeah, thank you very much. Uh, we've got Geordie Dave. You know, everybody, Merry Christmas. I've seen you dancing there, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> a bit of dad dancing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, thanks for having us on again, Holix. Um, be a good show on the night. So, um, everybody enjoy. Mm. All right. Thank you. And. We haven't had him on for a long time, if at all, actually, on my mm. channel. Um, but it is the fabulous Jay. You muted, Jason. <laughs> you muted. The windows lately. It's just <laughs> turned to eight now, so I'm on the webcam mic at the minute because my blue blue one has decided to say no, it don't want to work. So oh. with me, I'll be glitching around, but I'll be here. Thanks okay. for <laughs> Sorry about that. Do you know what I mean? So, who has a technical issue? One of us are bound to, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? All of us do, we? <laughs> well, as, you, as we always say, it's not a stream about technical issue. Yeah. 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 Right. yeah well, Mark sent me a link to say to come on. As soon as he did that, my window go, Windows goes, I need to update Windows 11. I was like, no, don't do that to me. Do you know what I mean? Not yet. Oh, yeah, yeah, no. It's always the way, isn't it? It's always you yeah. as well. Turn, turn auto window updates off, man. Yeah, I mean, I tend to do mine. I normally check mine every sort of couple of days at the moment, and then I'll do it and tell it to shut down afterwards, but just in case I get caught short. But but yeah, that's one of them things, isn't it? Yeah. So, um, yeah, so yeah, this is a bit of an impromptu stream because I decided yesterday because obviously I did have issues come through and I was like, well, mm -hmm. I've got stuff to come back to in the new year. So I was like, right, let's do a stream. Um, I'll take, yeah, I'll do yeah. tonight. Because obviously I wasn't going to do one tomorrow being Christmas Eve because, yeah, you know, it's, people mm -hmm. are going to be busy and stuff. So I thought, yeah, yeah I'll jump on tonight. We'll get issue 90, uh, oh, sorry, 89 done. I was calling it 73 earlier. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Um, so, oh, I've got a bit of an update for everyone as well. Mm -hmm. Now, nothing's solid, so don't get excited, Mark. But that wall up there where that picture is, yeah, there will be a shelving system erected in the new year. Ooh. I spoke to the landlord today. He's going to put the, you know, the shelves that you put the bars on. Mm -hmm. yeah, and then you yeah. can then hook the shelves on. You can have a few shelves. Yeah, yeah. Donald's, Donald's he's, got them in his room. Yeah, he's agreed to put one of them up there. Wow. In place of the TV bracket, which really? is hidden behind that picture. Uh -huh. So that would leave a couple of shelf spaces for some models. Wow. Oh, we'll see. So yeah. I haven't decided what yet. I know Mark's mm. thinking, oh, I know what, but I really don't know because it obviously it depends on money as well. Yeah, um, yeah. Obviously, and it depends when I'm going to start a model. Um, yeah. Whether I can do both. Beginning with a T. Adam. We're beginning with a T. <laughs> well, that's one option, but still, <laughs> I mean, I'm just glad to have right now. I'm just going to I'm going to be glad to have some shelving space. So. Even if I juggle things about, like while it's there, I could maybe put the root master up in the background and maybe wow, jiggle yeah. around so you can see them in the background and stuff. So Brilliant. I'm quite excited. The shelving's coming from work. Mm -hmm. um, because there's some that's unused, bolted to the wall. So we're actually going to take ants and I could, my manager said I could take them down and bring them home. Really? So I can probably get to. It depends on the size of the models, but I can probably get maybe one, a big one in, and then 
I can probably get two shells, maybe. I, I don't know. We'll see. Maybe yeah. even three. Yeah. yeah. Mark will work his magic on you and do a smile and twisting and butt kicking. And yeah, like he does true. always. We'll have to call him the Yorkshire Terrier of the group. So if, he, if you go out of line, he soon snaps at your heels, if you know what I mean. And that's yeah. great. So, you know. <laughs> so, it's it's fine. Fine. <laughs> it was pretty handy because obviously I was going to um, I was going to message the landlord and ask about it, and then um, I was actually upstairs. I came home early today, and I was fixing the sink because cleaners have been. And we've got the sink in the bathroom is one of them push things. You push the plug mm -hmm. in, and then it then you push it again to release. But it got stuck, so I'm up there with a screwdriver trying to get it out. And then the landlord comes upstairs and goes, "Hello, Alex," and I'm like. Oh, caught red handed, you know. I said, I'm just trying to <laughs> think. And he went, Oh, thanks. And then I, I grabbed him and brought him in here and showed him what my intention was. And he says, Yeah, I'll come and do that. It'll be in the new year, uh, in January, not after Christmas. I said, Yeah, that's great. He says, Just get yeah, the shells, give me a shout when you've got them, and I'll come around while you're at work and stick them up for you. Yeah, brilliant. So, oh, fabulous. Sounds exciting. Yeah. Mm. Anyway, yeah. that's enough blah blah. Let's um, go through some chat because there's lots of chat. Carl Blair, there's a lot of chat. Do you want to make the start first, Dave? Yeah, you can do. Yeah, I think we're just taking it in tents tonight, me and Jordy Dave, uh, the two Daves, and we're uh, going to go through the chat between us. So, fire ahead, Dave. Okay, go Star, go to Dano's Universe. Hello, everyone. Hi, Dano. Hi, Dano. Hi, Dano. And then we we'll have Julian Moon. Evening, everyone. Evening, love. Hi, Julian. Hi, Hi Julian. Then we we'll have Dee Harris. Evening. Dano Universe and Julian Moon. Hi, Dave. Hi, Hi Dave. Hi, Dave. DS Models and Vintage. Hello, everyone, and a happy Christmas. Happy Christmas. And to Merry you. Christmas to you, too. Thank you. Yes. Yeah, Merry Christmas. Yeah, happy to you. Christmas. I'm oh, sorry, just before you, just while Dee's on. Um, hi, Dee. Um, can you confirm you've got a blue spanner? That was all. Yeah, we can. Uh, yes, he has. Yeah. He has. Oh, cool, because I can't see it on here. So Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. D. Harris, evening Horlicks. Hi, D. Julian Milton, evening D. Right, wait, that will be comments up a bit. Um, D. Harris, good evening, sir, DFC. Well, thank you very much, kind sir. Crafty Chris, evening everyone. Hello, Hi, darling. Hi, Chris. D. Harris, evening Crafty Chris. Julian Milton, evening DFC. Hello, madam. <laughs> Hi. I'm Julian Mullen, evening Crafty Chris. <laughs> well, James, how are you all? Good luck with your bill, Rolex. Uh, hi, hi, Warren. Warren. Thank hi, you. Warren. Um, Julian Mullen, hi, Warren. Crafty Chris, hi, D. Go tell hi. <laughs> Crafty Chris, hi, Julian. <laughs> D. Harris, Crafty Chris, how are you feeling? Your cra crafter, hi, everyone. Hi, love. Hi, hi Julian. Chris, hi Julie, hi Julie. Yorkshire Crafter, hi Crafty Chris. Julie Miller, hi Yorkshire Crafter. Crafty Chris, D. Harris. I'm 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 a lead a lot better, thank you. <laughs> yeah. A loy beater, what's that? Loy beater. <laughs> <laughs> Chris being on the sauce tonight already. <laughs> I don't know what a lie be for him. <laughs> predictive text. I'm going to do the predictive text. Name predictive text. Hi. Cheers, channel. Good evening, all. Hope everyone is okay and all very and well. Merry Christmas and a happy new year to you all. Happy new year and happy Christmas to you too, dear. And you all. Hi, dear Mum. <laughs> Dear Mark, good evening, Eagle Squadron. Good luck with your build tonight, Holix. Lovely, thank you, Dave. Good evening, uh, uh, Dave. Hi, Dave. Hi, Dave. Crafty Chris. Uh, D. Harris, I'm a lot better, thank you. Cheers, yeah. Dano's Universe, cool Christmas in the world. All yeah, friends with yeah. smiley faces. Uh, Crafty Chris, this intro is like waiting for Santa. <laughs> uh, D. Harris, very seasonal intro. Thank you. Uh, D. Harris, Yorkshire Crafter, good evening. And D. Harris again, D. Mark, good evening. God oh my well, I'm out too. <laughs> <laughs> you you yeah. just tell me when you want to break. 
Uh, well, I haven't got many to go now, have I? Dee Harris, evening, Dee's channel. <laughs> Dee Mac, good evening, Dee. How are you, mate? Uh, Dee's channel, great Christmas intro, very festive. Hi, thank you very much. Yorkshire Craft, that evening, Dee Harris. Dee's channel, Dee Harris, how are you? <laughs> Dee Harris, all good, Dave, Groundhog Day, Meds. Meds me feet up. Meds in feet up. Go on, and Dave, gone from now. I'm, I'm getting the breath. You're getting tired, <laughs> right? Yeah, okay. So Dave McBell says, "Glad you're okay, Dave." And then Dave Harris says, uh, "Thanks, uh, uh, Dave Mac." And then um, Dave McBell says, "Great intro, Harlex." Yes, thank you wow. very much. And um, Dave Harris says, "Small spring, some uh, seen some uh, uh, of the thread." Uh, into the in case it went flying into the carpet monster yeah so i do believe you have to tie a bit of thread to it or a bit of tape or something in case it goes flying off into yes. the carpet monster I've yeah seen, so um, i saw world of wayne's video and his went his went south but luckily he found it after his stream but um, yeah, yeah. Okay, so then we've got um, we've got D. Harris, Max, Dave, Sir, Jordy, Dave, and Jake. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. <laughs> and um, John's model making evening all. Hi, John. Good evening, John. Hi, John. And nice the last one for now is D. Harris. I have Alex. Oh, good. Lovely. Oh, wow. That was Okay, so I suppose we better um, get on with a little bit of building. Yeah. Okay, just before we move on then, we've got uh, P Peter Whitlock. Uh, good evening, everyone. A long time no see. Good evening, Hi, Peter. Peter. Thanks Hi, for Peter. coming along. Hi, yeah. Peter. Hope you're well. Right, so issue 89, fitting the left wing flap indicator. So, um, yeah, this is an interesting issue. Okay. Okay. Can we full screen? Yeah. Okay, so your parts checklist, uh, Harlick, is uh, O1 is left wing panel. Okay, dope. So let's grab this out of the packet. <laughs> wow, it's got some weight to this, isn't it? Mm. I think it's just, yeah, about the same way as a wing. Yeah, yeah. look at that. Um, oh, a few yeah. details on here not to be walked on. Um, walkway inboard. And then we've got uh, wheels up when indicator flush. Yeah. Okay. Your next part or two is domed panel. Ooh, that's uh, plastic. Yep. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to bring my little parts tray over to put that in. Yeah. Okay. O3 is rectangular panel. Yep. That's the one. Okay. O4 is wing flap indicator panel. Wow. It's tiny. It is. Okay. O5 is wing flap indicator frame. <laughs> yep. There we go. That's for plastic. Okay. O6 is wing flap indicator. There we okay. go. Yep. Tiny. Okay. O oh, seven is wing flap indicator hinge, uh, wire hinge. Sorry. Right. Uh, where's my? I'll take these out of the packet. I'm so nervous. These are going to go flying. So that is this tiny. Yeah. Bit here. Okay. okay. Uh, 
Oh, eight is spring long connections. Yeah. Oh, nine is spring. There you go. They are tiny. Okay. Um, and then ten is pim. Wow. Again, tiny. Jeez. <laughs> wow. It's tiny, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Eleven. Oh, yeah, the fires. No. Eleven is five PWM one point four times three millimeter screws. Okay, they are in here. Get all these out and then we can see what we're up to. So yeah, we've got five of them. They've got like the top hat ones, flanged ones. Yes. Okay. Okay, 12 is three PB 2.5 times six millimeter screws. Mm-hmm. And then 13 is three PWM 1.4 times two millimeter screws. Yes, there's three in here. Okay. Oh, God, I'm getting nervous already and I've not even touched the springs yet. Come on. Come on. There we go. Okay. Right. Okay. Are you ready? Is there any chat before we uh, start this? Yeah, a little bit more chat. Um, D, D. Harris says, uh, John's model making, good evening. And then uh, John's model making says, fun time with springs, laughing out loud. <laughs> yeah. Right. Okay. Right, so step one, Horlix, is take the spring, 8, 9, 10, and thread the small loop on the long end of the spring onto the wire hinge 8907 tighten the loop around the wire hinge with a pair of fine nose pliers okay this is like microsurgery i was going to say it's like a you need a pot of Valium or a stiff drink in here to do this, is it? Uh, I'm just trying to get this orientation right. Oh, look, one's the spring went loose already. Do you know what? I think I might even use these self clamping ones. Spring on air well, didn't it? Yeah, I thought about it, but I didn't want to. Okay. Okay. So we're looking like that. Yes. Okay. Step two. Fit the ends of the wire hinge into the holes in the indicator panel 8904. Oh, blimey. Remember, we've got two of these to do on this model. Yeah. Yeah. That's brilliant. Okay. O three. 3 uh, Step three. Fit the spring 8908 through the opening in the wing panel so that the indicator panel fits it into the opening. The tab on the opening fits between the arms of the wire hinge. So what I would do, Alex, with that is put it through and then put some electrical tape to keep that hinge, that panel in place. Oh, hang on. Well, we're going downwards, aren't we? Yes. Oops. Oh. 
So, first steps first. I'm going to grab some tape. Mm -hmm. I've actually still got my electrical tape in my panel. I know what you're going to do. Yeah, we'll do with you. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> And the fun starts. There we go. Right, so I'm going to carefully put that on there. Sorry, I'm off shot. Let me bring the camera up so you can see. It's it. okay. So I'm just going to put a bit of tape on there for the moment. Right, Alex, do you want to put something down on your cutting mat so you don't scratch the paint? Yes, good shout. Um, I've lost my thing, though. Oh, I can use some of this bubble wrap. Mm -hmm. Do you want to bring the chat up, Dave? Um, yeah, well, 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 I've highlighted it. Uh, George Modern Megan, evening, D. Mm -hmm. Dave Mack, hi, George Modern Megan. Uh, George Modern Megan, hi, Dave Mack. And John's Modern Megan, crimp the spring, go on, I dare you, lol. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'll like crimping that spring at the fly. Yeah. Okay. Right, Alex. I can't, I can't help but feel that this needs to be stretched out a bit because it's only just clearing the. Yeah, it does. Right. I'm just going to make a little adjustment because I'm not happy with that. Just spade them out a little bit. You almost want to hold your breath while he's doing this, don't you? Yeah. yeah. Don't, don't breathe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm still cold as a cucumber at the moment. Well, you do do a lot of electronics, Alex, don't you, sir? You've got good, steady hands. Like going in there. I just had to spay them out because what it looked like it was just about to fall out. So I hope you can. Can you see what I'm doing? Yes. Come on. Well, let me start this process again because it's making it a bit awkward to get that through. Okay, we've got a helpful suggestion here saying uh, from Peter Whitlock saying, I used a pin through the end of the spring and then slipped it over the peg. Yeah, that's a good idea. Just, just while he was doing that before I felt a sneeze coming on so I had to mute my mic quick <laughs> <laughs> that's the last thing I need to <laughs> okay right just nice and gentle there we go Okay. Okay. Right. Step four. Use a, a pair of fine tweezers to grip the end of the spring at the point indicated by the yellow arrow 
pull the loop of the spring in line with the raised screw socket on the wing panel. Fix in place with a PWM 1.4 times 2 millimeter screw. Okay, so. 1.4 times 3 millimeter screw, Carlix, are the ones that you've got five of. Right, thank you. Do you want to bring that bit of chat up, Dave? Yeah, I was just about to say there's a good one there for John's mod making. Uh, um, yeah, John's mod making. Keep the spring and hinge down. Yeah, that was one of the plans um, I mentioned before the show. So let's do that. Because if it does ping. And DC, and I'm holding my breath for all while you're doing that. I'm not even doing a spit for you. Uh, D, I quite agree. I was doing that as well. Oh, that, that's why I didn't see the, the chat. I'm too busy concentrating watching that. Yeah. yeah. Well, this is why I chose to do the instructions tonight because I've done this issue and I had the instructions on my on my computer and I didn't want these guys opening up their packets to get into things and things going missing. Yeah, we've got the issues. We just don't want to break into them just yet. No. Mm, that's right. Does anyone know if this screw is supposed to go all the way in? Or is it just uh, enough to hold it? Because I've got a bit of a it's not all the way in. I think it's just enough to hold it, or you could undo the screw undo the um undo the screw and then try putting in the screw uh, a little bit further in. You know, like tapping the hole. If you're not happy with it. Turn it backwards and forward, turn it back and forward. Yeah. So that goes locks down. It doesn't seem to want to go in any more than that. Definitely using the right screw, one of the five. Yes. As long as it's holding it, you should be fine. Um I, um, it says oh, wait a minute. place with a PMW 1.4 times 2 mil screw. So that's one of the three. Is it? Yes, it is. That's why that, yeah, that makes sense because it's a little bit too long. That might be my mistake, Carlix. I apologise. No, that's all right. It's the same. Um, it's the, the thread's the same. It's just different length. So it just, yeah, it just wasn't quite going. It was a bit too long. Nope. Sorry, I know I'm off off the camera. I'm just trying to. Is that baby wearer? Yes, it is. <laughs> sure. Don't go there. <laughs> it's baby wearer. No. 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 It could be the last chance to see baby wearer in 2021. Yeah, that's better. It's fitting. I'm going to go and sing the song. That's Mark's job, that is. Look at that. Excellent. Wow. Well, got well, I, I left mine on. Yeah. Okay. Um, step five is basically this shows the spring, wire hinge, and indicator panel in place on the wing panel. So we'll move quickly on to step six. Okay. Position parts 8905 and 8906 mm -hmm. and 8910 as shown so that you can thread the pin 8910 through the hole 
in part 89.6 and into the socket in part 89.05. The ribbed end of the pin grips it into the socket to hold the parts together while the indicator uh, 89.06 able to move. So, now looking... got, on that pin, Alex, it's got to go the rough side first. Yeah. Because yeah, there's a little see. bit of a, a, an end to it that'll stop it going any further. So, does that look the right way? Or in yes, that's here? correct. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> So I'm guessing it would it slip through this bit easily enough? Should do. It might cut it a thread itself. I don't. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Okay, so in the chat we've got uh, John's model making Easy Peasy Horlicks. And then we've got uh, Peter Whitlock has said, uh, has anyone else seen the email from Harshet uh, saying uh, not to install the circuit board in issue 93 as there is a problem uh, which will be resolved in a later issue? No, I haven't seen that. Yeah, yeah I've seen it on Facebook and I put it, out, I put it on our group chat. And then um, D. Harris says, uh, Mark, no. no. <laughs> I haven't checked, checked my, um, I haven't actually checked my emails, but I haven't seen anything come through, but I'll have a look. Okay. Right. Um, all I will say is this part has got a slight defect, and I'm hoping it's going to not cause me any issues, but can you see there's a very slight split in the plastic? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, so... I noticed that as I was putting it in. So I'm hoping it went through that first bit absolutely fine. There was no force needed. Um, but I'm going to have to, I think it'll be all right, hopefully. Okay. But, okay. Yeah. Okay. Step seven is fit part 8905 over the two raised screw sockets in the wing panel 8901 the rectangular cutaway in part 8905 fits over the tab on the edge of the opening in the wing panel this helps to hold the wire hinge 8907 in place mm. so that's correct that. okay Step eight, use a 1.4 times 3 millimeter PWM screw to fix one end of this part, 8905, in place as indicated. Okay, this hole I can see has got a bit of junk in it, I think. We'll see. Some people uh, did say that they had um, over, like overspray on it. Okay, um, can you jump on that, please, admin? Yeah, I'm on it now. Oh, you only use one screw, Harlex. Oh, oh, yeah, of course. Sorry, I was thinking, oh, there's two holes. I'll stick a screw in there. Yeah, right. no, you don't. Okay, sorry. Okay. Right, this is where the fun begins. <laughs> Get your tape out. Yeah. Okay, so step nine. Take the second spring, 8909, position it so that the loop on one end is flat, inset below. Fit the loop over the peg on the wing, Panel 8901, red arrow. I recommend gluing that bit on. 
Right. And then, just okay. so I know, can we move on just so I know where it's going to sit? Okay, step 10. The other end of the spring should be positioned so that it is upright. It has to be fitted over the peg on the side of path 8906, as indicated by the arrow. Okay. Now, I found the best thing to use for stretching that spring is a cocktail stick. Oh, I see. That's a good idea. I tried many things. I tried tweezers. I tried all sorts. And the best thing was a cocktail stick. Yeah, well, that makes sense. I'm just going to put that in there. Don't hold it, dude. Tape it down, not glue it. Yeah, yeah. I'm just making sure it's flat. Yeah, but the problem is, mine kept so keep on coming off, so I had to super glue it in the end because because you're going to turn that wing panel upside down when you put it on the aircraft. Gravity yeah. is fighting against you. <clears throat> yeah so that is on and i think i am going to do exactly what mark just said because it makes sense just put the tiniest little tiny bit of glue just on that spring just to stop it going anywhere yeah. um i think that is a good tip so i'm just going to put... catch up on some chat while Horlix is doing that yeah we can do yeah um just where we was there we are dead map builds uh says man split as well Harley. i used uh, glue to strengthen it and then d harris says uh, someone else part was split and then D. Harris says, uh, yes, that Dave Mac was just about to mention you remember watching your vid. And then uh, Dave Mac Bill says, uh, D. Harris, I wouldn't have thought it would have split, to be honest. And then D. Harris says, thanks, Jay. I uh, didn't see that was typing. It was quite quick. And John's model making says a dress pin uh, could be used also. Yeah, and then Dave Matt Bill says I I glued uh, on the second spring so that it wouldn't fly off uh, once I installed it, and then John's uh, model making says excellent Horlex. Lovely. So there we go. This is what we're ended up with. Wow. Okay, so I'll just. I'll just read out step 11. The spring has been stretched in order to fit it. You may find it helps to fit a needle into the loop of the spring. Place the tip of the needle on the peg on part 8906 and you can slide the loop down the needle and onto the peg. Right. Okay. Well done, Horlix. Yeah, well done. <clears throat> just a couple of more steps to go now. So, uh, to focus nicely so you can see what I've done. We can see it, but. Come on. There we go. And yeah. I'll put a tiniest little bit of glue just on the end. You can see around the spring. So hopefully that will. Um, yeah. You can just say, uh, yeah, hopefully that'll hold that in place. Yeah. Uh, that crack. But now I've installed it, a bit dubious because I don't want it to get into the. The hinge part. There we go. I can see how that's going to work now as well. I think somehow. Well, sort of. Okay. Okay. Step twelve is take the winning wing panel eighty-eight to one supplied with the previous issue. Check how the wing panel 8901 fits on part 8801. Screw hold in four tabs in part 8901 arrows align with screw holes in part 8801 circled. Okay, so. Is 
so yeah i can see that these there's going to be four connection points like so okay right so step 13 is this shows a part 8901 fitted in place on part 8801 with four screw holes aligned and why that happens sorry just give me a second uh, need to rotate my uh, instructions oh. which uh, for some reason they're not wanting to rotate. right okay so step 14 says fix part 8901 in place on part 8801 using three pwm 1.4 times three millimeter screws and one pwm 1.4 times two millimeter screw so as you come down the wing, the bottom one is the one that has the 1.4 times 2 millimeter. That this one, one, yes. <coughs> okay, I'll uh, pick up the chat. I think I'm right here. Uh, George Murming, excellent Holix. Yeah. Uh, Dave MacBills looks great, Holix. Well done. Thank you very much. D. Harris made that look easy. Yeah. Matthew Bowen, even and all, I'm slightly behind you, still waiting for my delivery, which is 83 to 86. Good evening, Matthew. Oh, Matthew. Right, that's the 1.4 by, uh, by 3 installed. Uh, yeah. They're not quite tight yet. I'm just going to put the last screw in. Which is one point four by two. That was interesting. I couldn't rotate my uh, I couldn't rotate the instructions, so that last one I actually uh, had read it upside down. <laughs> <laughs> oh so I'm now going to hold this together and uh, screw these in. Oh, I don't even see that. I've still got red. Oh, it's gone. There. Yeah. There's red um, Rootmaster paint still on the screwdriver from the, <laughs> from when we were doing the little screws, the little NM yeah. screws. Yeah. Oh. Well. Okay. Okay. And that is completed where the wing flap indicator has been <laughs> to the left wing. Uh, panel and the two left wing panels have been fixed together part 8903 and 8904 and the 2.5 times 6 millimeter pb screws will be used in the next issue lovely so what i'm actually going to do just for the sake of it i'm going to put a big bit of tape across all of that for now to keep yeah. all the springs from going anywhere well yeah and then let's have the big reveal oh lovely super smashing great yes wow beauty and then i'll just uh share this uh uh, we, your next set of parts, the right wing panel, which will be fitted to the model in a future issue. Mm. Lovely. Yeah. So we've got all these bits left. Right, let me just put you on full screen again, Alex. So let's see. Yeah, the spare screws, um, which will go in the pot. These are for next time. And then I'm guessing these will be for next time as well. Yeah. Mm. Yes. Because the next issue, you actually fit that panel onto the wing. Okay, lovely. Wow. That's certainly going to add some weight to the plane, isn't it? Do you know what? This feels really heavy just on its own as well. Yeah. It does. So. Super. Okay. Time to put it to bed for now. Yeah, so I've cut a little slit in here because um, this is going to fit in there because it's going to poke out ever so slightly. Yeah. 
I mean, I'm going to put that bit around there. Nice bit of tape to keep I it in bed. The tape. <laughs> to bed. There we go. And that will be safe for next time. Lovely. Wow, I really enjoyed that, actually. Really enjoyed that. Yeah. I did too. I enjoyed that. Yeah. So... It's always the, fid the fiddly ones, Alex. You absolutely love doing. Yeah, I think it's just because I've just, I don't know, I just focus and get into the zone. Yeah, I mean, I focus on every build I do, you know, because the last thing I want to do is hash it up. But, you know, because it's a lot of money we're spending on these models. And, yeah. You, know, you press them, don't you? you? You know, and, well, most do anyway. But, yeah. Um, but, yeah. No, I really enjoyed that. And um, I was going to say, I'm really looking forward to. Let me go back. We can go change the screens now. Um, let me get everyone back. There we go. I'm not yeah. alive. Um, yeah, no, I really enjoyed that. And uh, as I say, what was I saying? Um, oh, yeah, I was going to say, I'm really looking to, forward to issue 93 because that's just me all over that one. Um, and I actually, I'm going to tell you a little secret. While I was at work, I actually had to undo issue 93 to have a little read through. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> so but now obviously, you know, the comment about not fixing that now is quite mm. sad, really. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's going to be in a future issue, isn't it? After 93. Yeah, because well, what the problem is. they're saying, I don't want to do it because there's no point really in doing all that because. If it's anything like the um, the R2 and stuff, <clears throat> it's no good plugging them plugs in and trying to pull them out because once they're in, a bit like the test board, once you plug them in, they're really difficult to get back out. Yeah. The last thing you want to do is rip one of the sockets off the board. Yeah. Unless they're replacing the board, whatever the issue is, I don't know. But, yeah. Um, well, okay, I'll go through the uh, chat here and um... Matthew Borum, um, plus I've missed an issue of Scott's Double Chuck, issue 12. Uh huh. Um, Daniel's Universe, fiddly issues. You've done really well. Well done. Thumbs up. Thank you yeah. very much. Uh, Matthew Borum, hello, dear. I've made a playlist of your stubby oh, Scott Chuck issue. Oh, <laughs> That's it, yeah. And uh, Gillian, good, good, show. Show. good night, everybody. Happy Christmas and Happy New Year to everyone and a big thumbs up. Thank you, Dylan. Yeah, thank you. Thank oh. you. Well, yeah. that, was, uh, that was really interesting. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I'm looking it's forward to it. Yeah. So have you got, um, where did we the email or anything that was sent? I'm thinking it'd be quite interesting to bring it up. Um, um, I put it on my Messenger page because I got it off Facebook. Ah, was it on one of the groups then? Yeah, John, John Hunter. Okay. Find it. John uh, yeah, I think it might be interesting if, for everyone to see. If you um, go, if you, if you go on, you'll see a big, you'll see a, the picture. Of John Hunter it says just subscriber, and then John, and click on that, and it should open it. See if I can get it open. Right, I've got it opened now. How do I put it? Uh, Right, stream yard, um, share screen, share screen, and oh, where's it gone? Where's it gone? Facebook, there. Can you see it? Not yet. Maybe you need to start the live stream. Um, start the screen share, even. Yeah. Share. Got it? Yeah. That's what I that's what I got off the Facebook page. Oh I see. Dear subscriber, please know that after the time of printing, we have identified a possible problem with issue 93. If you've not yet fitted the PCB as instructed, please set this aside for now. We will provide further instructions with a later issue. In addition, please do not assemble issue 94 onwards for the time being, as these would make the area to fit the PCB inaccessible. 
If you've already assembled issue 93, please do not worry. We'll provide instructions to resolve the problem with a later issue. Uh, if you've not yet received issue 93 onwards, please keep this information in mind for future reference. We, we're very sorry for the inconvenience and thank you for your patience. Okay, we thought it's if Bart works. So, uh, yeah, no, so that's. Um, so yeah no that's uh interesting so yeah so well, well that's a shame then so we can't it really do 93 or 94 then mm. so i'm still yeah. back in the situation but mind you hopefully the fix will come in the next delivery so uh, might be a bit might yeah. be a bit of a chat show on the on the third week perhaps yeah yeah uh, should I say, I hope it doesn't impact the build going forward. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Um, future issue, mm. you know, trying to build the rest of the fuselage panels or whatever. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah. Mm. I mean, I'm guessing they're not going to replace the board then by that because they're saying if you fitted it, don't worry. So, I mean, yeah, Mark. Um... Doesn't tell you what the problem is though in issue ninety three. No, that's it. Yeah. Very, I mean, it don't obviously. The only thing I can get from that is that if you have fitted it, don't worry. We'll we'll tell you how to fix it later. But yeah. is it a case unless of, it's like a stopgap for people to you know stop it, put on the base, power on the base up, and then power try and power the blade up. So you could do some damage there. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you could. Yeah. I'm thinking. Yeah, it could be that. It could be anything. Or it could be like. Maybe they've um, the instructions are a bit skewy from what plugs to plug in what what part of the circuit board. Perhaps like where it says, I know the circuit board's mark, marked up with all the different cable labels, but maybe like one of them's been mixed up, so you need to put like L four into L three or something, and five yeah, whatever, well, something along those lines. Um, I we, I watched ninety one uh, John Bell's iconic mix models last night. And the speaker cable has to be relabeled uh, with a new label. Yes, yes, I saw yeah. that. So, yeah, because um, yeah, they didn't tell you to put the speaker cable in either, and even though the socket's there for it. Hmm. I wonder whether it's mixed up on the board where two wires go, and instead of powering a motor, you're powering an LED, and there's yeah. too much power going into that LED, and it'll just blow the led because with the bismarck you've got two test boards you've got an led test board and you've got a motor test board and a lot of people were plugging their leds into the motor test board because they didn't know and yeah. blowing their leds yeah yeah right, because yeah. it was too too much current going into it so they might provide like an adapter with like a resistor in so could be, yeah. yeah could be all yeah. speculation. We'll have to wait and see yeah. then. Yeah, so I guess um, I'll probably leave 93 then. There's no point in me fitting it knowing there's an issue. Yeah. So. All right, uh, D. Harris. Uh, I want to wish all the hosts a very Merry Christmas and happy and healthy New Year. That goes to everyone in the chat as well. Thank you, D. Thank you, D. Same to you. Peter Whitlock, could, could it be like the Buzz Bell problem with the Root Master? Yeah, yeah, it could be. Yeah. Yeah, mm. uh, we had an adapter, didn't we? So, well, I don't think it was. Was it a problem? Was it just an optional thing that you could have? You could change the sound if you wanted to. With yeah, this yeah, it was a, was an option. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. Because want it a buzz on one button and then a ding ding on another button. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. well, can I speculate? We'll have to wait a half shed come up and tell him what's the problem fixed. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, so if anyone yeah. hears anything, um, please let us know. That'd be great. Just at least mm. we know, you know, because if we do find out what it is, you know, we might still be able to do the build, but leave a certain part out, you know. Mm. Yeah. 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 Um, I was going to say I could email email hush it, but whether they'll know is another thing. You know, I suppose it depends who you you end up speaking to. The course yeah. Of so yeah right then well i think that's um oh we've just been just over an hour on that so oh, um, 
John Hood knows that um, P40F20. No, no, that's my Mark Hunter. Mark Hunter. Yeah, yeah, Mark Hunter, yeah. Right. I'll get mixed up while he's near me. Right, oh God. Right, well, I think that's um, that's a show then. So mm -hmm. um, let's uh, wind up. Um, let me go around the table. We've got no more chat, have we? So, uh, um, only one. Uh, only one in the chat, I think. I believe. Uh, John's model making said good night, all, and uh, Merry Christmas to everyone. Lovely. Thank you, yeah, John. Man, yeah, you. Thank you. Right then. Well, let me go around the table then, and then um, come back to me, and then we'll end the show. So, um, oh, and for any of you Eagle Eye viewers, you may notice I have changed the. Uh, the uh overlay the, overlay, overlay that's the word yeah because it <laughs> was saying hornix in the corner so obviously i've changed it slightly not because i can't see it actually but i think the viewers can because i've yeah. got the uh, info up there um right anyway enough blabber um who wants to go first let's go with jay okay, let's go with jay yeah thank you for coming on jay and uh yeah nice right. to see you um let's uh put you on this uh there you go well i'll say good night all thanks uh for having me on you know i'll well, say merry christmas to everybody hope you have a good year and uh, hope 2022 is a better year for everybody no matter what you know we can't get any worse than what we have done with all these different variants of stuff going around at the minute but uh just stay safe look after yourself and probably all see you in 2022 with more exciting things to do. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah. lovely good night for me. Thank you very much, Jay. Uh, thanks for joining us tonight. And uh, yeah, I look forward to seeing you on another show. Yeah. Um, right, let's go over to Mark. So, it's a good night for me. Hope everybody has a fantastic Christmas and a cracking new year. I remember in 2020, we did say uh, hopefully we'll have a better 2021, but now we're saying we'll hopefully have a better 2022. So, <laughs> who knows how long this thing's going to go on for? But uh, yeah. stay safe over the Christmas period and we'll catch you all next time. Lovely. Thank you, Mark. Um, I think we'll go Geordie Dave now. You know? Well, yeah, thanks for having us on, and I wish everybody a Merry Christmas and um, a big thank to thank you all for supporting well on the, on these uh, bills. And I hope everybody has a really good 2022 as well. So, we'll catch you soon. Lovely, thank you. Uh, and Dave, DS Models and Vintage, and um, what everybody else has said. Uh, and besides that, uh, Merry Christmas, everybody. I hope you have a lovely Christmas time. And uh, let's hope that the new year brings us uh, new joys and uh, peace and harmony and uh, we can get rid of this nasty COVID thing. So, yeah, um, good night. God bless. Uh, take care. And please leave Horlicks a nice good thumbs up and subscribe to his channel too. So, good night from me. Lovely. Thank you. Um, yeah, and that just leaves me to say the same. Merry Christmas to everyone. Hope everyone has a good day. Uh, Good weekend, uh, whatever you're up to, um, the best you can in the current circumstances. Um, yeah, and I look forward to another build uh, very soon. Um, what else was I going to say? Oh, I've forgotten. I've got brain like a sieve. Um, <laughs> just, yeah, no, thank you all for your support this year. And as Mark said, yeah, you know, back in 2020, I was like, oh, I needed some luck for 2021. And it, it hasn't happened for everyone. Um, and yeah, I'm I'm hoping for a good 2022. But I'm you know I'm I'm not that confident about that either, especially with things going on in this new variant. So mm -hmm. we'll have to see what happens. But uh, let's let's just hope. All we can do is hope that um, everything gets uh, ironed out as soon as possible, the best it can be anyway. So uh, thank you everyone in the chat for um, for your interaction. It's great. I, you know, I, I love seeing you all on the stream. So thank you so much. Um, if you wish to support me in any way, I do have a, a wish Amazon wish list in the description. I also have a Patreon set up. Um, it's, I've, I've jigged that about uh, at the moment, 
I'm not offering anything in return for that. I'll be honest. Uh, I'm looking at doing something. I'm, I'm still my well, cogs are still turning, but it's at the moment it's set up for a pound, um, a pound a month just to support the channel and any yes. any builds I'm going to do next year. So um, please check my Patreon out if you wish to. Um, but apart from that, thank you so much for watching. Uh, that is me, Horex, and my co-hosts, and we are all going to say goodbye. And have a great Christmas. Bye. 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 Eyes in the sky, gazing far into the night. I raise my hand to the fire, but it's no use. Cause you can't stop it from shining through. It's true, baby, let the light. If you believe it's true, baby, won't you let the light shine through for you?